this video has a multitude of purposes, but if you are in a position where you aren't where you want to be, there's a gap between where you are and where you wish to be, this is for you. All right, so time is 9.17 p.m. And daily today, it feels like I have done absolutely nothing. This has been a common theme over the past few weeks. Okay, this is it. This is the aspirational, ideal, ambitious place I want to be. This is the minimum standard, getting up when the alarm goes off, working out, that sort of stuff. This is where I am. And when I fall off, every little thing tends to trickle. Look at the state of this, right? Laundry hasn't been done in like a week, two weeks. Bed hasn't been made. This is usually organized. Oilers just lost game two, but that's, that's besides the point. Now look, man, this video, I just don't want it to be some pity party. I hope it's relatable. Well, I hope you aren't going through what I'm going through, but genuinely taking action has become challenging. Minimum things. It, it's just that initial barrier to entry. It's it's putting my laundry away. It's, it's making my bed. It's those small things. When those start to slip, everything else trickles. And then it's just a downward spiral. I've listened to every podcast, it seems. I've read every book. But the takeaway is I don't need more information. I need to simply get up, make my bed, put my laundry away, take action, and just slowly start to claw my way out. Gonna eight mile myself. I can see this. Look at that. <laughs> it's like I'm 17 again, peach fuzz on my face. Okay, this sits on my desk, and this is more important than any podcast, any thing I'll read, any chat GPT prompt. This is what it says. Doing the thing. It's from Chris Williamson, one of my favorite podcast hosts. Here's a list of things that are not doing the thing. Preparing to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Scheduling time to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how to do the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading about how other people did the thing isn't doing the thing. Reading this essay isn't doing the thing. Hmm. The only thing that is doing the thing is doing the thing. Now look, this message here is from my dad and my mom. Never forget that this is and always will be your superpower. Doing. Love you. Now look, I know the antidote, the, the solution is to just take the action. And every month I meet with my dad, we discuss our goal setting, we discuss our path forward, we discuss how things are going. And he got extremely candid with me. Just do it. That was his takeaway. Just, just, just do it. Way out of overthinking. And that's what all of us try to do. If that doesn't summarize me, I'm a ruminator, I think. And when I think how to outthink my thinking, I think more about how to outthink my thinking. And that just leads me not doing the thing, right? I don't need any more information. I need to take action. And I think that's become an increasing thing, right? Another reel isn't gonna solve it. This video, pro there's probably better things you're gonna be doing than watching this. I'm gonna deal with that when I get home. So, I've told you my current state of inaction, but what's next? And why can't I not figure out how to tie this shoe? Okay, so basically, the current state of inaction has stemmed from an array of different uses of time I want to have, one being one being wanting to pursue a career in public speaking. And so today, I have an idea for how we can write the most impactful book of our lives. And when I say idea, I mean that quite literally. It's an acronym that stands for identity, direction, execution, and authenticity. One being wanting to pursue a career as a discovery coach, 
One being wanted to work full time as a bartender. Such a pro. Like, I, I haven't known which way to put my energy and therefore I have procrastinated. Now, all of that aside, my brother is getting married September 28th. And so today at the time of filming, it is June 11th. I, want, I think it's June 11th. But during this time, I'm gonna challenge myself to do a daily vlog. A monkey never creps. Now the reason I use Matt and Michaela's wedding as this objective is because I just really want to push myself to get out of the rut that I find myself in. Now, to get into the psychology as to why I've been struggling to take action, especially on this YouTube channel, one is because I've gotten into the numbers, fear of not growing, a fear of what if it doesn't work out, but I've realized that the reason I love to create, the reason I love to put content out there, my best content, green means go, high five brother, my best content is the one where I show my authenticity, I show the behind the scenes of my life. And so that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be documentation for a future me to look at and you can come along with me. My deepest core belief with this channel and with the work that I do and the life I'm creating is that every single one of us is the author of our own story. If you're the author of your own story, what stories do you want to write? So anyone who's watched this channel knows that the paperclip is very special. I have it tattooed here. And for every single episode we do, we put it in this jar here. So these paperclips that are colored, are gonna represent now until September 28th or until this vlog concludes. So this is day one. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you tomorrow.